is finally all signed up and ready to go. That puts a smile on the face of manager Aaron Boone. A lot of things do, but getting a guy, a quality ace like him, is that you You were impressed with four and a half hours yeah. of meeting with him. We just got impressed by some of the things that he said. And one thing that Jack and I asked him about, and he said was, uh, was it pressure is a privilege and you earn that privilege? You, I got to think you want to hear every one of your players saying that. No question. Um, you know, I think you guys got a little, little peek at what, what we got to experience for several hours where, where really Garrett kind of drove the meeting and, and uh, it was a great, I thought, forum to where we really got to know each other, um, got to see what makes him tick and his, his acute understanding of who he is as a person, as a player, why he's good, how to apply himself, kind of how he's evolved now over the years. Um, and the ability to really articulate it and speak to it and the kind of questions he was asking that um, he was interested in within our organization. Um, you walked away going, this is a special guy. And um, obviously, between the lines speaks for itself, but we feel like we have another special person we're bringing into our clubhouse. Aaron, when you did walk away from that meeting, how confident were you that this guy is going to be a Yankee in 2020? I don't know. I mean... All I'd say is the, the meeting, I thought, went really well. Um, you know, uh, where that goes and where the negotiations would go from there, um, because we hadn't even started the negotiations. So you never know that. And, you you know, you never know truly what's going on inside of someone. Uh, but certainly felt good about the meeting, felt good about, um, you know, the way each side, I, I felt like, got to know each other. So uh, was certainly hopeful. But but truly a great unknown. I got to think with the contract now signed, you're thinking ahead, right? Spring training, first bullpen session, going to be a lot of people. I think you're going to be front and center probably watching the pop of the mitt there, right? Yeah, no question. And, and it's great having Matt Blake here, our new pitching coach. And, um, you know, they're going to start to obviously really connect. And uh, and obviously he's really excited to, to – uh, to have a have a picture of the addition of uh, of Garrett. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I guess now we're you know less than two months away from pitchers and catchers and and all the planning that goes in in the off season to to put ourselves in a position to to hit the ground running when we get down there. Uh, this is an important time, um, but today's the time to to celebrate a, a great player joining our family. This is a long-term marriage. I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Garrett. What has to happen across these next nine years for both sides to have felt this was a successful and a productive marriage? Ooh, I, look, obviously, we all look, in, in a, and especially here with the Yankees, you know, we want to win championships. And, you know, it's been a while since we've won. Uh, we feel like we have a club that's... Uh, been been very close here these last few years knocking on the door guys that have um, kind of have that what I believe is championship medal championship intangibles um, and that'll be the focus and we've brought in a guy in Garrett Cole that is about winning and that's what he wants to be a part of so um, that's the focus it's it's how can we be at our best and, and along the way we know there's going to be ups and downs and, and peaks and valleys and, and we embrace all those things you embrace all those adverse things that come up um, but hopefully uh, in the end it's 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 incredibly fruitful for him and for us and for everything we're hearing about him he has really matured in that way you talked about maybe in the past there were times if he didn't get a call he might get a little frazzled he seems to channel that in a much different way yeah you know in kind of watching his career unfold and you know I watched him pretty closely when he was in Pittsburgh when I was you know on your side of things um, in a lot of ways it really does mirror um, CC's career in a lot of ways. I had the opportunity to play with CC in Cleveland where he was a great pitcher from a very young age, but at times I felt like you know his emotions would sometimes get the best of him um and and i saw the maturation of cc over the years where where he struck that balance between being this amazing competitor but having really command really great command of his emotions which i feel like is so important for a starting pitcher i feel like a similar way with garrett obviously great success with pittsburgh and as a young pitcher 
but sometimes you'd see that emotion maybe at times get the best of them. We're seeing a guy that's really matured, that's an intense, fiery competitor, but really in command of his emotions. I'm glad you mentioned the transition from Pittsburgh to Houston. He starts throwing more four seamers, fewer two seamers. The breaking pitches seem sharper. This almost seems blasphemous to ask, but is there another level for this guy? Well, we hope so, and I would I would put nothing past uh, Garrett. I mean, this is a, a great athlete, um, a guy that's in, in, in tremendous shape. Um, I think his intelligence has allowed him to continue to evolve and to continue to get better. And when you combine intelligence, work ethic, uh, the ability to apply things to a great talent and a great delivery, um, I think his expectation is to always continue to improve, and hopefully we alongside of him can, can contribute to that. Great things coming up.